In this ukulele tutorial, I'm gonna show you the muted strum. That's gonna be your right hand or the strumming hand muted strum. I'm just gonna play a little bit and then uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. So I used a variety of muted strums and that's with my right hand or the palm of my hand, or that's the strumming hand. So even if you're left-handed, it's your strumming hand. We're gonna just show you some real simple concepts today, just over one chord. So I'm just gonna use the G chord for this. And let's start off with a real simple rhythm like this. So the right hand mute or the palm mute, what I'm doing is taking the side of my palm here and like literally right before I strum, it's going to touch the strings and then with my first finger, I'm going to strum. So it's, if it did real slow motion, it's palm strum. Now, if you speed it up, it's just like this. Notice that mute sound. If you don't get the palm down, it's going to give you this sound. Right, you hear those open strings, but you gotta get the palm down first and then strum. It might be a little awkward if you haven't done this before. So let's just, just try this. Just do this with me. I'm still holding a G chord, but I'm just gonna get this sound. Just strum with me. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna bring the strum pattern in, and it's just gonna be a down, just normal, let it ring, and then on beat two, it's gonna be that mute, and then up is a normal note and then down on beat three. So it's gonna go one, mute, up, three, four. One, mute, three, four. So it's one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So playing it slow and then building the tempo up. Okay, so let's try this same thing a little faster. Three, four, and. Now I wanna add a different rhythm. I wanna play this rhythm now. And. It's gonna start off the same. So down stroke, one quarter note, mute, up. And then the next two beats, three and four, are gonna be exactly the same. So down on beat three, and then a mute on beat four, and then an up stroke. So it's just gonna go down, mute, up, down, mute, up. So the mutes then happen on beats two and beat four. Let's try that. Ready and one, two, and three, four, and down, mute, up, down, mute, up, one, two, and three, four. And. Again, start slow and then build it up. So let's try it a little faster. Three and four and. All right, I'm gonna add one more rhythm, and you'll hear this, at least me talk about this being the granddaddy strum pattern, except we're gonna have a mute on beat two, so it's gonna sound like this. So it's gonna start off exactly the same as the other two, so down, mute, and up. And then the granddaddy strum ties the end of two to beat three, so you're gonna hold it out, followed by an up, down, up. So it's just gonna have one mute and this is gonna be on beat two. So it's three, four, so it's down, mute, up, hold, up, down, up. So notice how the mute, it just adds a little bit of, I don't know, different sound to it, right? It adds a little bit, just something different than just, mute now. I think it's cool. I really like the way it sounds. But practice it slowly if this is new to you because you really want to get that really nice crisp 
mute sound every time you do it. So let's do that last drum pattern and just speed it up a little bit. Two, three, and. Now I'm gonna play one last time before I take it out here because you can now apply the mutes to whatever you want. This is just to kind of get you started with them, but you can do any chord progression and you can really apply the mutes on any beats that you want. So I'm just gonna jam a little bit. So take that with you, apply it to your favorite strum pattern and your favorite chord progression, and uh, have a good time with that one.